I think it's it's very different when you look at when Facebook first went public. They were dealing with the competitive issue. Uh, they weren't dealing with the competitive issue. They were dealing with how do you take technology and go from the desktop to the mobile space and really figure out monetization. Snap, on the other hand, you know, there's Instagram Stories that they're facing, you know, very tough competition against. And I think they're, you know, with a lot of content and content becoming more and more important. So you see these content deals coming up. I think that's a step in the right direction, but I think there's a lot more that needs to be built around that for them to continue to succeed. So what do you make of this issue, though, today that we were just discussing of this new report of teen usage of Facebook uh, tailing off or trailing off a bit? Isn't that an opportunity for Snap, even if some of that usage goes to Instagram? I, I definitely think it is an opportunity for Snap, but you know, I think the usage amongst Instagram stories with that teen audience is surging even faster. Um, I think one of the areas where Snap could definitely help help bolster their um, bolster their audience and user growth is by focusing on content creators. So if you're looking at these big publishers and bringing in their content, why not look at content creators because they drive all the engagement from that teen audience. That's how YouTube built their community. That's how you know Facebook and Instagram have really built their their tools. So you know, going after content creators could definitely be extremely powerful for Snap. So to play devil's advocate here for a second, you've seen um, we're through the lockup period. Seemingly, we've got through somewhat unscathed. Is there a potential to Dan's earlier point that this stock has a meaningful rally before you see the declines that I think Karen and Peter are looking for? And when I say meaningful, anywhere from 15 to 20 percent. I, I definitely think there's a, a chance for it to rally pretty significantly. They've built, Snap has built a lot of the advertising and monetization tools that they've seen, you know, they've built exactly what's worked at Facebook. So they have a self-serve platform, they have all the vendors in place, all the marketing programs. And so they have that infrastructure there. Now it's a matter of just making sure you can continue to get renewals from these brands and advertisers and take those hundreds of millions of dollars that people are spending on Snap and get them into those billions. Hey, Chris, uh, you just mentioned the content creators, and what you're really talking about are influencers for all intents and purposes, correct? And so at some point, you know, can't this be a lever that Snapchat pulls? You know, this is, you know, the exact sort of audience that, you know, celebrities want to reach, that sort of thing, sports stars. It just seems to me that there's a lot of untapped things here for Snap um, that we're really not factoring in. It seems like there's just overly bearish sentiment on the story right now. Oh, incredible, right? I mean, it's a huge opportunity. Because these these content creators, you know, a lot of them have been born because Snapchat existed, or you know, they they're famous because of Snapchat. If if Snap started to build tools that really help these content creators manage their audience, grow their audience, and most importantly, make money, that's going to drive a tremendous amount of eyeballs outside of just that teen audience.